Hello, welcome back for video three. So, we've played with Spark. They've been developing a poster for art class. They've been posting it on Edmodo. But how do you know they're staying on track and not wasting time because they managed to blow ahead in this other area? Ah, that's where Veon can come in. This allows for you as a teacher for free to look at your students' screens. Now that sounds really technical, and I'm not going to lie, it's an open source, which means that there are constant updates. It's moderated, it's proctored, but it is open source. So there is an element of coding that can occur with this, can being the key. You have to have someone help you set it up. But in the case of my school, while we have one-to-one -one computers coming up this next year, we do not currently have them to go home. These are not personal computers. They are one-to-one -one school computers. At least that's the idea for the moment. Meaning that I have the ability to do this. Click on my little CBS guy right here. And this is what the screen looks like. Let me put it in presentation so you can see it a little better. So you have monitoring, allow you to monitor all the computers at one or more locations. This can even be if they are at home. Notice that. Full screen demos where you can watch only their screen. Window demo. In this mode, your screen being displayed in a window on all computers. This allows you to show them what you are doing. You can lock their computers, remote view and remote control their computers. Turn it on, reboot, turn it off, log in, log off, message them individually, run a program on their computer, open a website, transfer and screenshot. It basically gives you invasion control, but it allows you to watch what they are doing while they are sitting at their tables, working diligently, communicating with each other. Hey, make sure to stay on track. But you're not calling that out across the room. You're messaging them directly. Oh, I noticed that you're not able to put that in. Remote control, open it and put in the password. Now you don't have to go from one to one to see what's going on. Full screen demo. You can show everyone exactly what's happening and they can't look away. You can window it. You can monitor them. And when class is over at the end of the day, instead of going around and turning each individual one off, power down from an individual location. It makes your job as a teacher very structured, but it can also lead to you being consistently behind a desk. So do be aware of that. But you have someone that's sick. So what? What's your point? Download. This is an application. It's not a full website but it does operate on every Windows, Linux, and from what I can see, iOS. Meaning, this is an open source program that would allow you to interact with their technology. That's awful handy. And it also keeps everyone a little bit more honest about what they're looking at. For this one, I selected three different ideas. Specifically, 4B, 5C, and 2C. With 2C, education stakeholders uh, are engaged in developing and adopting a shared vision. They are engaged and they have to share that vision a little against their will, but it also allows other school personnel to do the same if they have the administrator status. For 4B, Ensure that resources for supporting the effective use of technology meet future demand. There is no limitation to this program as it is free, uh, it is open source. And then use technology to regularly engage in reflective practices. Is it working 
when it's happening. If it's not, on-the-fly reflection is possible, allowing you to adapt, add in new information, and customize according to what you need. I know this video was a little longer, but this was a bigger program to deal with. Next video, we'll look at, well, so what are you going to send them to look at? See you there.